I'm Christina and this is Tomes and Tequila. Today I want to talk to you guys about destructive thinking when it comes to comparing yourself to um, the images you see online and social media and um, stuff like that. I'm trying to really get back into my uh, Weight Watchers flow because that's been kind of off for a little while. Um, I'm hoping to have a good weigh in this week because I'd like to uh, have a good end of summer <laughs> weight. I don't know. I had a goal I wanted to hit before my birthday. My birthday is June 7th and I don't think I'm gonna hit that goal, but um, I'd like to be closer to the goal than I am right now. I don't know, I've been all over the place mentally with uh, with my weight loss for some reason. Uh, and last night I told my husband, I said, I, I get frustrated. Social media is so weird and, you know, I'm flipping through Facebook and, you know, I have friends from high school on there and, you know, I go through and I see friends from high school who, <sighs> with these just, bang and bods <laughs> and you know they're still the the size they were in high school and complete with you know fake boobs and uh and i have a tendency to get down um and do that compare game that women do sometimes when you're like uh you know my boobs don't look like that and um it's so easy to look on social media and think that everybody else is, is uh, having more fun and look better and their life is better than yours and yada, yada, yada and, and all that and uh, get down and go like, why did I ruin my body? Um, so my husband reminded me that you should never look back. You should just always focus on today and what you can do in the future, you know, um, that you should never spend your time looking back because there's nothing you could do about the choices that you made in the past. Um, you know, you can't change anything from the past that you should only focus on today and, um, your future choices and your plans for the future and all of that. So, um, today I was trying to work on, uh, creating a vision board and I actually have a couple spots in my planner that I have intended on making into a vision board. So I have like stacks of magazines sitting next to me here um, that this morning I'd been going through uh, cutting some stuff out. And I've even been struggling trying to make a vision board. Um, I think I've gone through <laughs> like 10 magazines this morning trying to find stuff to put on my vision board. And I found like a few words and like two pictures. And it's like I just can't mentally get my head wrapped around goals or <laughs> um, anything at the moment. And I can't figure out what the problem is. Um, so it's like everything's been stagnant. The weight loss has been stagnant. Um, so I don't know. I don't know what's going on, but... <clears throat> I feel like I'm I'm struggling to get my head right at the moment. So this morning I got up and had to have like a talk with myself about um, like before I ever even got out of bed to say that, you know, today is a new day and we make good decisions today and not to think about food before I got out of bed about like, oh, you know, nobody's home today. I could cheat if I wanted. Nobody would know. Um, which is a bad way of starting off your Monday. So I have made really good decisions today. And when I'm done filming this, I'm actually going to go walk to the store and get salad fixings. Because I actually have a craving for like a really good salad. So I'm thinking of making like a really good salad with either chicken or shrimp in it for dinner tonight. Um, but that compare game thing that women do is so destructive. And, you know, I know if, at 42, almost 43, that, you know, what you're seeing in social media is like a doctored highlight reel. And, 
you know, <laughs> between filters and, you know, nobody ever puts on on Instagram or Facebook or anything. Nobody ever does like, you know, I got a fight with my husband or damn, I found a new wrinkle or <laughs> holy cow, I have a zit or um, no, nobody ever puts the bad stuff out there. You know, nobody ever puts the crappy picture that was taken or uh, anything like that. You know, people always, it is a curated display of what they want other people to see. You know, people aren't putting up the, the pictures that aren't flattering. Nobody's putting up those pictures, really. And that you shouldn't ever compare your life to anybody else's because you don't know what's going on in anybody else's life. You don't know what's going on behind their doors. Nobody knows what anybody else is going through. Um, and <laughs> Somebody can have a banging bod and have a horrible life. Somebody can have a ton of money and have a horrible life. And, you know, being skinny isn't everything. Sometimes you just need to, like, take a step back and go, don't have shitty thinking. <laughs> don't let shitty, destructive thinking um, ruin your day or your evening or cause you to lose sleep at night um, over the fact that you, you made bad choices at some point in your life because, um, you know, I have a good life and I'm working on the body, but I have a really good life and, you know, so I, I have a good life, you know, and, and I know I have a good life and, you know, I have two wonderful kids who are incredible human beings and I'm so close to them and they're best friends and <laughs> we've had a wonderful life. I have a fabulous husband. Um, we have gone through so much stuff and have come out of it on the other side, like with the, the tightest, you know, terrific marriage and our best friends, we love spending time together. He makes me laugh. And holy cow. I mean, the other night we had like the best date night I've ever had with him. And we've been married for almost 25 years. Um, our family has had these amazing experiences. Uh, have lived all over the world. Um. I have fabulous friends. Gosh, I have friends that are closer than, you know, most people's families. Like I have been um, blessed with some of the most amazing people in my life. Um, girlfriends that I know I could call up at, you know, two in the morning and they would come help me with anything. And family and extended family. I mean, I have one sister who, um, I know would do anything for me. Um, extended family. My husband's the youngest of 11 and the family is incredibly close. And I have more brothers and sisters than I ever thought I would have <laughs> as, as one with, you know, one sister. Um, I mean, really, I'm blessed. God blessed me in so many ways. And to get down over the fact that I struggle with my weight is just ridiculous. Sorry, y'all actually had to pause for a second. <sighs> we all just need to remember that, you know, um, we shouldn't compare ourselves. Uh, no, I mean, my body got me up this morning. <laughs> I, I woke up. I'm alive. Um, not everybody can say that. Not everybody has a healthy functioning body. Um, I have friends who, who are <laughs> fighting breast cancer right now. Uh, I, I've lost family members. I have family struggling with um, 
colon cancer right now. Uh, I, I have a weight problem. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. Um, and I mean, maybe your problem's not weight. Maybe it's something else. We just need to remember that we shouldn't, we shouldn't compare ourselves to other people and we shouldn't let stuff like that get us down. And we all need to remember that what you see on Facebook and what you see on Instagram and all that, that's not, you know, that's not people's everyday lives. And, and even if it is, we should be happy for people that have great bodies. I mean, they're working for it. You can't tell me that somebody's got six pack abs and, you know, fabulous toned muscles in their arms and all that, and they're not working for it because, I mean, my daughter's got a great body. My daughter works for that body. Um, she's out there busting her ass for that body. And I guess my big takeaway is that one, we definitely shouldn't be comparing ourselves to other people because like I said, we don't know what anybody else is going through. And two, we really need to remember to um, count our blessings and remember that just because you know, maybe one area of our life isn't where we want it to be, that we need to remember all the areas of our lives that are where we want it to be, that are going good, that are terrific, and not let stinking thinking get the best of us. And recognize the hard work that other people are putting in. And, and not let that, like, jealous green-eyed monster turn us into ogres when it comes to seeing the friend who's got the banging body after all these years or because women can be so catty with each other and I don't want it to sound like I'm looking at you know friends who are looking great at you know 42 or older and thinking like oh my god you know she's what a bitch because she's got a fabulous body and that's not it because women should be supporting each other and should be you know, heaping praise on each other and not, you know, being assholes. And I mean, like I have a friend who, while I've been struggling and blowing off a Weight Watchers meeting, if I feel like it hasn't been a good one or I'm not going to have a good way in, I have a friend who right now is running seven miles to her Weight Watchers meeting <laughs> And this morning on Snapchat and Instagram, she's going, I really don't want to go. I don't want to run there. And I run to my Weight Watchers every day or every week. And it's you know, over seven miles for me to run there. And I'm training for a 50K. And everybody says, you know, those last like 15 pounds are really hard. And I don't want to go and all that. And then what do you know? She's sending me Snapchat videos of her running there. Running seven miles to her Weight Watchers meeting. Which is just amazing. Like she's kicking ass. And then I'll have like a I lost 0.6. And you know like that is amazing. So we should be cheering each other on. I, don't I hope everybody has a great day. <laughs> I'm going to go walk and get salad stuff and stop sitting here rambling um, and finish vacuuming because that's the rest of the stuff that's on my chore for today. And I will see you guys next Monday. If you like this, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Let me know um, your thoughts about comparing and social media and uh, all that jazz. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Um, you can also hit that little bell icon and YouTube will tell you when I have uploaded a video. But as of right now, I'm trying to upload every Monday. Um, I could be doing it twice a week, which I'm thinking about doing like a Monday, Friday uh, in the future. So see you guys later. <laughs> Bye. My dog is laying down like right on the other side of the camera and she looks really cute. I'm tempted to like turn the camera around so you can see her laying in her dog bed. <laughs> That's my beautiful dog. 
sleeping on her beautiful bed. She's getting old. It's arthritic. We took her for a long walk yesterday and she's sore today. Sore and lazy.